Well, just in time for summer, air travel is picking back up as more pandemic restrictions loosen. And with many people flying for the first time in more than a year, airport security wants to remind people what to expect. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now from TF Green Airport in Warwick, where masks are still required. As many Americans are gearing up to take flight for the first time in over a year due to the pandemic, TSA here at TF Green have some tips to make your trip both quick and safe as you're heading through the airport. People haven't flown in over a year, so the travel experience is a little bit different. Some of the biggest differences travelers will notice, there's a lot less contact. And a tremendous amount of plexiglass put in to keep the public safe and keep our officers safe. Uh, you're going to see our officers still uh, wearing their masks. We, we changed some of the things we did as far as pat downs, things like that. There was less touching. And it's all thanks to new computed tomography technology. 3D x-ray machine. So what that allows, it allows the TSA officer to actually rotate a 3D image of the bags that are going through and then that way they can see exactly what's in the bag. So we're checking a lot less bags physically because of this new computed tomography machine. As more travelers are flying, Velez says that some tips, like pre-screening your luggage and getting to the airport early, still apply. In January, we were averaging around 1,100 passengers a day here at TF Green. Now we're screening close to 3,700 passengers a day. Definitely get here in enough time to ensure that you can get your bags checked in, uh, you're ready to go before you actually get through screenings. Now, masks are still federally mandated to be worn in both the airport and on planes. And for any questions on what you can pack for your trip, you can find that on our website at WPRI.com. Reporting in Warwick for 12 News, I'm Matt Paddock.